So guys, this is Jorge Torres coming to you from Georgetown, the Williamsville Museum. And we're here to explore the it's a true if there's ghosts here in downtown Georgetown. Because I went to the visitor center and they told us that this museum is haunted. So we came here to uh, ask for a ghost tour. They have a ghost tour and a little bit of history about what's the history behind the ghost tour and what kind of ghosts do they appear. Supposedly they say that they are always, like people see this lady in a white dress, like in a Victorian dress. All around here in downtown, not only in the museum, but right here in downtown uh, Georgetown. They see the same lady in a Victorian dress, a white Victorian dress. So come join us now and we'll see if we, what we find. We're in the Williamson Museum and this is, this building itself was built in 1912. Um, and the museum has been operating um, in this building for about 17 years. So that's where a lot of our stories come from is they actually renovated it to open up the museum and renovations kind of stir up a lot of paranormal activity. And so we've pretty much had lots of stories and different small activities throughout. We have had, we had an investigation around 2008 where um, things like we have a collections area behind up here um, and there's a metal survey wheel that almost looks kind of like a skinny wagon wheel and someone, one of the paranormal investigators ran into it and there was, um, they were recording and so there was an EVP, an electronic voice phenomena of a small child saying, do it, airs and things, yeah. but um, they're really, but the person who was monitoring the cameras, nobody was moving, so it wasn't us making the sound. So that's one thing you'll hear. And also, like, there's nothing above us. And our, and our roof is kind of, like, tinted. So, like, nobody's up there. And that's one thing if our board of directors have said they've heard things, like, during meetings of, like, people dragging stuff. And there's nobody. There's nothing above them. So have you encountered one of those uh, spirits? Yes, I have. Um, Mostly because I'm the educator here, and so I do things like the overnights. So I've been here many nights, multiple nights, or I come drop things off late at night. Um, so one of the things is I was one of the people that have seen the full body apparition wow. of a woman. Um, and it was late at night, and I didn't turn any, on, uh, any lights. And actually, so um, I pulled into there's an alley back that way. And we have a wrapping on the door now, but the door was clear at that time. And I pulled in, so I, I had my car lights on. I came, I took the elevator up. I was dropping off one of our big trunks. And I actually looked out of that window and I kind of saw a white figure. She wasn't dressed in modern day clothing. Um, kind of a full body, kind of Victorian era woman in white. And, um, and then I was like, oh, I'm kind of seeing things. I'm probably hallucinating crazy. I take the elevator down. Don't really look back that way. But when I get back into my car, through the door in the alleyway, you could see another image of a woman in white. So I was the staff member that had seen her for a while. Um, and actually, before that experience, the paranormal investigation in 2016, we used the same investigator who had done it with us before in 2008. He said, has anybody seen anyone? And she and, and um, the staff member said, yes. And he goes, oh, was it the lady in white by the hallway? So now, uh, there's actually been three people that have seen this whole body apparition. Um, so she kind of comes out in this hallway. OK. Ooh. If it's energy, it's probably coming okay. from over there. Okay. You alright? Did you feel something? Okay, go ahead. There is, there is, um, in this collection area, there is, they put a spirit cam in there once, and there is a, like a full body something that showed up on that spirit cam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think he's a newspaper editor, because that's, it's the collection that he came out of, is hmm. one person's collection. So he's a newspaper editor. <sighs>
Wow. But this is um, just another vault. Um, it's locked. We use it for storage now. But it's kind of like, just like the other one, but it's just a longer hallway where they would have had like safety deposit boxes with the bank. Mm, okay. So what is the used to be a vault, you say? Yes, it was a vault when it was used as a bank. It's a bank, okay. So just kind of like a long hallway. If you think about like where safety deposit boxes would be in a bank, kind of like that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you say you left this open, why? So we left it open just because it's an interesting thing to look at because it's a uh, dig so. pit. Um, so they did renovations. So the bank, it was a bank in 1912. And then in, um, it operated the bank until about 1960. Then Williams County bought it. They used it for different offices, but then about 17 years ago, they renovated it to open a museum. And so when they did those, when you do a historic building renovation, you have to do dig pits to make sure you're not disturbing anything. So they did two pits this size and five smaller circular things. And they actually found a lot of broken bottles, things that you would think people would leave behind, but they found things from when the building previous year, there was a one-story wooden building prior to 1912, and they found like an intact human molar tooth and a broken pool cue chuck that dates back to the 1890s. So we just leave this one open because it's kind of an interesting thing to look at. That's cool. There's people up there. Someone's <laughs> 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 just always put there. <laughs> Those are living people. <laughs> Wait, what did you feel? Kind of weird. I felt some things here, kind of like goosebumps and like like somebody like somebody like, like scratched you or no like standing like someone breathing on you. Uh -uh. No, I just felt I don't know. Like I'm something cold. Yes. Like a breeze, yes. like a cold breeze, yes. energy. Yes. And it's tú no lo sientes? No. Es acá, mira, es aquí, es aquí, aquí, es aquí, aquí. This part. Aquí y aquí estaba parada hace rato, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not there, it's here, 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 it's here,